Gaudi é foda, né? Alright y'all, so tapping in, tapping in. Um, so I'm down here in Aurora, Nebraska, right? Um, nice little little. Now let me tell you about blessings, right? Um, so I'm gonna try to make a long story hella short. Um, I came off a of hometown and I got a little coming from Clingerstown, PA, down to Verona, Missouri. That paid 3200 I think. Um, from there, I got a little going from picking up from Hooks, Texas, and bringing that back down to Verona, Missouri. Okay, that little only paid like 600 something. No, I'm lying. That little paid like $1,080, okay? So right now, if you round it off, I'm at like 4,500, give or take. So, you know, or as you know, I'm coming up a hometown. So I was kind of in the hole 400 just for gas. I was able to clear my uh, truck payment while I was on hometown, because I put money in my e-fund. But I was still a little short, so I didn't, I wasn't able to cover like $400 worth of gas, or fuel, rather, diesel. Um, I came out on a Tuesday, couldn't drop that load till Friday that I came off a of hometown with. So obviously, that truck note came. So now that's 13 something on top of that four, right? So now I'm like 1700 in, plus gas. Now I'm like 200 something dollars in. Now I did take the H2 class. So what that allowed me to do is, get my payment deferred for this week. Today is Thursday. So Wednesday in the payroll, I don't have to worry about a, um, a full truck payment. I think $30 is uh, what they going to take out of my settlement. Now the blessing is I got another little on Monday coming out of Verona, Missouri. Well, not coming out of Verona, Missouri, but I was in Verona, Missouri. Um, I had another little picking up in Arkansas, Danville, Arkansas, and that was supposed to be going back to Joplin, Missouri, right? So here's the blessing, right? Now, I already had enough to cover the truck payment from last week, the back bill, and make a little profit. Nothing major, but I mean, I'm not in the negative. I made a little profit. Very little because I still had to factor in the gas that I used for this week or for last, for this week, whatever. So I get to Danville, Arkansas, and um, I check in, and I just happen to notice, oh, shoot, I only got four hours on my clock. And this is why I tell y'all all the time for the new people, you gotta be proactive, always be proactive. I constantly text my uh, dispatcher every little thing. So I just happen to text him like, yo, um, is it cool if this little gets here on Wednesday, opposed to Tuesday, I only got four hours on my clock. It's no telling how long they are gonna take the load me. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to do all this, right? So what he does is he says, okay, you see that driver across the lot? It should be, I forgot the truck number, but go switch with him, go swap loads. Cause that load, the load I was on, it needed to be it needed to get there today, that same day. Um, it was same day load, so that load needed to get there that day. So I swapped loads with the other driver. He has a load coming here to Aurora, Nebraska. Now the blessing in that is, like I just told you, my load that I picked up in Danville, Arkansas was only going to Joplin, Missouri. That only paid 600 something dollars. The load I swapped for was going to Aurora, Nebraska, but that paid, I think $2,200. So you see how that worked? I was able to drop that by payroll, you know, made an extra $1,400, you know what I mean? So um, that's the blessing in disguise. So now, opposed to you making a little profit coming off of home time and getting out of the hole, now I'm making a semi-decent profit and I can, hit the, um, I can hit the ground rolling. So I said all that to say, bro, when you out here leasing, like I said in the last video, why I would never be a company driver, or not even never, but why I chose to do lease at Prime, is because it's always about the potential. It's always about the potential. Now, I'm not saying that wouldn't work the same way for a lease driver, but I know I made out great just coming off of home time, the H2 class help. But I mean, the potential is always the potential. So now I'm expecting maybe a $3,000, everything taken out. That's just to me. Um, when I do get my settlement, uh, I might put that up there just to see if my, um, you know, my estimates was right. But I'm expecting to get like 3000 28 27 something like that fresh off of home time though still digging out the hole and all that so if you ask me that was a good thing all right y'all i'm out here in nebraska um so i'm just getting some gas about to fill up for the day i can't pick up my load until uh what's the 
close today. Thursday. I can't pick up my load till Saturday. Right? So, which is cool with me, because I had a decent week, a very decent week, so I'm not complaining at all. Um, that gave me some time to reset my clock, give me some time to reset my body. So yeah, I ain't tripping. Like I said, I had a strong week, and then it's a strong load that I'm picking up coming out of Missouri on Saturday, and I'm dropping it Sunday. So that'll get me set up for the next week, Monday. So no complaints there. Um, now what I am going to do, since I'm in Nebraska, I got to pick up from Missouri. Uh, you know, I got to stop by Kansas City. Um, now I was going to go to the Ameristar Casino, but I think I'm going to try the Hollywood Casino. They got a couple miles down. Um, Cause you know my boys, we playing the, um, who we playing? We playing them, the Vikings. So I don't know what they looking like this year. I ain't see what they look like this year, but you know, I got faith in my squad, so we ain't really worried about nothing. Um, one thing I did realize, you can't gamble in Nebraska. I don't know how many people met, uh, mess with the fans do, but they was not trying to let me place no bets off in uh, Nebraska, so I'm hoping. I think you can in Missouri, though. I'm pretty sure you can in Missouri. I got to double check, but I'm going to be a little disappointed if I can't. But, uh, yeah, just wanted to fill y'all in, tap in. As y'all can see, I'm still going. I'm going to probably put like 56 gallons in here. That should get me to Missouri. And then uh, I'm going to probably fill up at Prime. Um, you know where the cheapest gas is, so, you know, we're going to keep it thugging like that. So, yeah, I'm going to tap in with y'all. All right, y'all, tapping back in. So, sometimes, I mean, obviously, I hope the people that's out here, that's already out here, I hope y'all doing your pre-trip inspection. But for the people that ain't, you definitely always want to do your pre-trip ah, and post-trip inspection. But when you get downtime, like, especially when you're on your 34-hour reset, Something I like to do is just uh, lift up my hood and just really do a detailed look. Um, yeah. Just do a detailed look real quick. And just make sure everything's sturdy under that joint. Like. But uh, yeah, man, you only gonna make it, I say you only as good as your truck, right? So just check your cooler level, your fuel, your fluid. Make sure ain't nothing leaking under the truck. Um, as you can see, I definitely need some windshield wiper fluid. I'll be definitely going ham on that. But uh, yeah, man, you don't want no surprises in the morning when you're ready to pull off. I just had this nice 34 hour reset. I got some food. I got to watch the game. I had a good weekend. So all I want to do now is just, you know, hop back in the mix with no issues. So, you know, you want to check your brakes. I don't know if y'all can see that, but my brakes is definitely looking good. Um, and if you in orientation or you in PSD, you should already know you starting your preacher buff on this side. Can I even remember that? All right, so look, let me see. I ain't even gonna try. <laughs> I ain't even gonna try. what I say? My fluids are okay. What, I got my leaf spring, my brake chamber, all my hoses, no abrasions, bubbles, and cuts. <laughs> uh, what is this? I got my shock absorber. Um, not leaking. I got my two U-boats down here. Yeah, you know how that go. <laughs> I passed my test already, but you know. Um, yeah, I just wanted to run that by y'all though. Just like, definitely make sure your truck running cool and all that. And um, yeah, before I make this video too long and drawn out, I'ma just tap out here and I'ma get with y'all. All right, what's up with y'all? What's up with y'all? Uh, tapping in on this what friday on my 34 hour reset and all that um so i'm in kansas right now um i got here last night um my load don't pick up until tomorrow um and i had this load so many times and it's an open window that i know the pickup time is from 9 30 to 3 30 but i know that more than likely the load the load is not probably gonna be ready till like two or three so I said, you know what? I might as well just, you know, take my 34 hour reset. Everything here, I got a Dave and Buster's around the corner, Walmart across the street. Only thing I don't got is the truck stop. Um, so I had the PC to like a pilot that was like 30 miles away just to take a shower and all that. But outside of that, I mean, everything I need is pretty much here. So no complaints there. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna tap in with y'all. I just wanted to, Fill y'all in on what was going on. So maybe when I come out of here, I'll tap in a little later. All right, y'all, so tapping back in. Um, 
So yeah, I'm gonna pretty much wrap the video up here. I don't wanna make this no long drawn out video of me talking about nothing. But um, I know for a while I've been telling y'all I wanted to post up a lot of the lows that I've been getting like far as how much they paying. And I know in my comments, a lot of people have been telling me to like, yo, just post up some numbers. So I was able to do that for y'all in this video. Cause I know before I came out here, that's the, one of the number one things I was really curious about. Like, okay, I know how much money y'all making per week, but how much are these loads paying? So like I said, I got some $3,000 loads. I got some $1,000 loads. And I think I got uh, like a $2,000 load in there. Um, y'all can run the video back and see, but that's around the average. I think it totaled out to like maybe 6,000, 6,500 for that week. So that go back to that last video when I was saying like, I average anywhere from like 45, to like 5,000 a week. But some weeks I do get higher, for instance, like this, 6,500. And some weeks I do get low. Like, I think lowest I got, I ain't gonna say lowest I got, well, yeah, lowest I got maybe like 3,500, just under $4,000 a week. But it's always gonna fluctuate. But as long as you hitting that 45 to $5,000 mark, you gonna be good. Now, like I said, you gotta understand this is trucking every week, not gonna be the same. Um, it's not like you work in a regular nine to five job at a retail store or, you know, a fast food restaurant where, or whatever type of job you come from, where you punching in, you punching out and you know, all right, I work this amount of hours. I'm making this amount of money every week. It's not really like that. But like I said, it's always that potential. That's the best thing about trucking. And that's the best things about leasing is that potential that you get. Um, I'm trying not to get hit by a car, obviously, but, uh, it's always about that potential and in trucking sky's the limit i'm not even gonna say the fact that prime lease um i'm not gonna say that sky's the limit but as far as just trucking in general bro that sky's the limit ain't no telling how much you can make out here if i, if I could gross eight thousand dollars a week not every week but you know what i mean eight thousand dollars in a week leasing that prime just imagine what these owner operators doing out here you know what i mean so when you hear numbers like i made fourteen thousand in a week all this crazy stuff that be real, that be real. So it's a lot of money out here to be made. Um, hopefully that motivates you to get out here. But um, I'm about to retire to my truck. Like I said, I gotta pick up this load in Aurora, Nebraska. So I'm gonna pick that up tomorrow, even though I almost went down. I don't know if y'all seen that, but <laughs> I gotta pick this load up in Aurora, Nebraska, um, which probably won't be ready till like two o'clock, three o'clock and six o'clock right now. So I got plenty of time to just sleep get my mind right get my body right and all that so i will tap in with y'all on the next video and i'm out